In Commitment 2024, the future of abortion rights in Florida is on the line as voters head into the last weekend of early voting. Right now, Western News political reporter Greg Fox is on the final push before today, Tuesday's election and what voters are saying about why they voted for or against Amendment 4. Right now, Florida has a six-week ban on abortion, which would be lifted if voters approve Amendment 4. Republican Governor Ron DeSantis' administration is at the center of the campaign to defeat the measure, using taxpayer money and staff to create a website that says Amendment 4 threatens women's safety. These are past amendments to Florida's Constitution. And spending public money on ads to oppose the abortion rights measure, according to reports by the Miami Herald. This is when government in Florida has banned abortion. The Yes on 4 campaign says regardless of the outcome of Tuesday's election, a full investigation of state expenditures to oppose Amendments 4 and 3 is warranted. Against that backdrop is the reality that this presidential election will certainly generate the most votes ever in Florida and could set a record for turnout percentage. As voters were waiting to cast ballots on Amendment 4, a lot of the ones we talked with had very strong opinions about why they were voting yes or no. Yes, it's a woman's right to choose whatever she want to do with her body. That's it, bottom line for you? Bottom line. And I have three daughters and I just want them to be able to get any kind of medical care that hurt them and their doctor decide that they need to have. Some of those voting no are worried Amendment 4 cuts parents out of the picture when minors seek to terminate pregnancies. Especially with Teenagers, parents should be more involved in decision-making and that sort of thing, and I'm just pro-life. Despite claims by Amendment 4 opponents, passing Amendment 4 will not eliminate a current state law requiring parental consent or a judge's order for minors seeking abortions. Greg Fox, West 2 News. Now, Western News has reached out to the governor's office for information on any public money that's been spent opposing Amendment 4. We will update you when we hear back.